Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm gonna create a landing page using the Tailwind UI kits. I'm going to exclusively use the sections they provide. I'm not gonna do any of my own coding. I might tweak a background color here and there, but that's the extent of it. This landing page is going to look great. It's gonna be responsive, and I'm going to build it, I predict, in under 10 minutes. So I bought this a day ago, not even a day ago, and I can already tell it's going to be a huge game changer. It's going to speed up the coding process so much, and I'm literally in love with it. It was a little bit on the expensive side, but I think it's definitely 100% worth it. It's like a one purchase and you're done. It's not a subscription. You have it for life, and anytime they add more sections, you get those updates no matter when you purchase it. So I really recommend purchasing this I think it'll make your life a lot easier and I, I can't say enough good things about it so let's get started I already have this blank project open and I've set up some sections that we're going to do it's just your basic landing page we'll have a nav bar a hero section feature section stats testimonials a little contact info call to action and our footer so Let's get started. The first thing we're gonna do is put our nav bar in there. Scroll down here. They give a few different options. They've got some lighter themes and darker themes. I don't need a search bar or anything, so I'm going to go with this one. And they let you preview what it looks like in all screen sizes. You can take a look at the code and you can just copy it with a click of a button. So let's go to our nav bar section and paste it and we'll fix our tabs, of course. All right, so let's take a look at that. Oh, I thought I did the dark colored. Nope, I did the light colored. Oh well, I'll keep this white nav bar. I was gonna do a darker one, but that's fine. Next, let's get our hero section. So they've got some hero section layouts here. This looks good, so got three options I'm gonna go with this one here let's copy it and paste it fix our tabs all right let's take a look at that so we've got our nav bar here. We don't really need these tabs, so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that from our hero section. I think it's just right here. And let's delete this login button also. Much better. And then it looks like we've got some Z index issue here. So let's give our hero section a Z index of 10. And this drop down, oh good, it's labeled. That's nice. Um, profile drop down. Let's give it a Z index of 40. Awesome. And of course, if you were to plug in these buttons or links, you'd be able to close this. I'm not gonna do that in this video, but all right, it's looking good. So our next section is a feature section. Let's go to our homepage, our library, and we'll get our feature section. They have a few different layouts to choose from. I'm going to choose, let's just do this one right here. So copy and paste it in. Fix the tabs and take a look. Awesome. Next, we want our stats. Okay, we've got some stats right here. Again, they give you a few different layouts to choose from. I'm gonna choose this first one. So let's copy it and paste it in and as usual, fix our tabs. We don't want messy tabs here. Makes life hard. Let's take a look, or let's add our next section before we take a look. We want testimonials. 
We got testimonials. Ooh, I like this one. I'm gonna go with this fun indigo. Change up the background color. All right, let's take a look at our landing page. That looks really good. I'm gonna change this white color to match our indigo so it just flows a little better. So if we go up to our stats, we have background white. I'll switch it to indigo 800. Awesome. It looks very good so far. All right, next we want our contact section. contact sections. That's very long. Let's go with, I like this one. So let's choose it, paste it, fix our tabs. Save it. And Let's add our call to action, little slogan going on. We've got call to action up here. I like this one. Copy it. Paste it. All right. And let's take a look at it. I haven't done that in a while. Looking very good. Ooh, I don't like how these don't match up. So my solution I'm gonna choose a different get in touch contact form. All right, where is the contact? Contact section. Let's just go with our basic form up here. Yeah. Okay, back up to the contact section. We are going to replace all of this code. And ugh, I hate fixing tabs, but it must be done. All right, let's see how that looks. Much better. And last, but definitely least, let's add our footer. We've got footers here. We have five components to choose from. I'm going to choose just this basic, simple footer. All right, so let's take a look at our final product. Looks very, very professional. And we put this together in like seven minutes. Obviously, you're going to have to plug all the buttons in and like your form in. I don't think any of these are functional. And of course, switch out this Lorium Ipsum or whatever it's called for your actual content. But I mean, the backbone of the UI or the front end is in place. And we did that in seven minutes. And the best part is it's completely responsive. Uh, what is this? I think that's from what we deleted in the hero image section. All right, where is the hero section? Right here. Ah, this mobile menu, let's delete. We don't need this because I deleted the hero menu and added my own nav bar. All right, we don't need this either. It's probably this. All right, now let's see. Awesome, look how good it looks. Completely responsive in seven minutes. I'm such a big fan of this Tailwind UI kit. I definitely recommend all of you go purchase it I think it'll save you so much time. I highly recommend Tailwind UI. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I might make one in the future. 
creating a dashboard using only Tailwind UI components? Let me know if you want me to. I also will probably compare this to Webflow because that's another thing I purchased earlier this year. And I was a really big fan of it initially. I'm not such a big fan of it now. So I'll probably make another video comparing the two and why this is so much better than Webflow. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed.